we wanted to give our version of Spider-Man. We wanted to, I say, we want people to say, that feels like a Spider-Man game from Insomniac. We wanted to have the DNA, the feel of what people expect from Spider-Man, but at the same time, feel like, oh, that feels like an Insomniac game. I feel like the, the traversal of Sunset is taken with Spider-Man. The, the gadgets from Resistance and Ratchet um, now are in Spider-Man with the suit powers of the gadgets, and then just overall humor that Spider-Man is known for as well as we are on the Ratchet and Clank side. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, 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 nope. I would say my favorite detail is that all the things we put in this apartment, like that, that initial camera pan that you see down from the window to the very beginning when he grabs his phone, and then all the things in between, to me that just like, there's like Easter eggs upon Easter eggs. So it's all those little elements. And it also feel like it captures who Peter is really quickly. Like, you know, his history, you know, kind of a slob he is same time, but also like, this is Peter Parker. He's struggling to pay his bills. He's has a long history with all these villains. And at the end of the day, he's just trying to catch up on sleep so he can go fight another bad guy. Who would win in a fight, Spider-Man or Kratos? Oh God, who would win, Spider-Man or Kratos? Uh, sorry, Corey, it's gonna be Spider-Man all the way. <laughs> You can put that, you can put that on Twitter, he'll, he'll look at it. Yuri, you okay? If he makes it out of that building, we're gonna lose him. Nah, I'm gonna go, uh... Do your thing. Yes! Anytime you making a Spider-Man game, you say, well, we're gonna sometime not play a Spider-Man, it's a risk, right? Because he's such a popular character. I mean, that's why people love him, they want to experience him. But we thought that to, to tell a full, like a 360-degree superhero story. You had to show what is it like when you're not a superhero in that world. Um, and we thought MJ would be a great example of that. But at the same time, for her arc to really have a full arc and experience it the right way, at certain points in the story, it would really benefit if you played as her. So um, it was definitely a risk. And then obviously just from a technical standpoint, creating another playable character is always a thing we got to juggle. And the team did a great job. I'm super proud of it. Biggest worry about MJ is just, are we being respectful of the character and are we, are we making it something that people will enjoy to play? And, you know, even though it might not be as um, high intense as, you know, fighting a Spider-Man, there are missions with very high stakes that you will be in control of MJ. And I love that you will, you will physically actually get to play out her, her story.